You know, back when I was 15, I thought habits just meant that you were probably failing in life. I mean, habits always had a bad connotation to it. I mean, I had a habit of skipping salah and playing video games instead, astaghfirullah, but that was just my habit. I thought habits were always bad. For example, I ate junk food all the time, which led to me just having a trash body and I hated myself for it. Until I came across good habits. And then I was like, if bad habits are ruining my life, wouldn't good habits improve my life? Wouldn't they completely transform the way I live? And then that's when I was on this mission. I was on this mission to completely transform my life. I was tired of just living such a trash life and destroying myself for it. I mean, I had such bad mental health. I didn't have anything that I wanted to achieve in life. I wanted to be disciplined. I wanted to wake up early and I made it a mission for myself to make sure that I will become disciplined by adding good habits into my life. I had the mission of getting my life back in order. The first habit is waking up early. I'm sure we can all relate to this. Waking up late completely ruins our life and we admit it ourselves, but we never try to change that part of ourselves. We try our best, like we say, oh, I'm trying to wake up early, but I cannot. But you have to realize that it's either you wake up early or you don't. But waking up early has completely changed my life because I was in a position where I wanted to be disciplined. I wanted to wake up at 5 a.m., go for a run and whatnot. But I just couldn't wake up early enough. And it ruined my mental, mental health because I woke up at 12 p.m. or 1 p.m. in the afternoon and half of my day is already finished and since i woke up so late and so lazy and tired i didn't do anything for the rest of the day you know i was in a position where i voluntarily allowed myself to do so many bad habits i let myself go and until 4 or 5 a.m i would just play video games i would scroll i would eat ice cream like tubs of ice cream i would do the most degenerate stuff to destroy my body, to destroy my mind, to destroy my future, and to destroy my potential. I would do so much just for some pleasure, which didn't even feel that fun after. And I would continue to do that. And imagine like waking up after doing all of that and you wake up at 1 p.m. Do you like really think that you can get stuff done, right? Do you really think that you're gonna be able to hit the gym the next day if you've done all of that? The moment you wake up early, that's the moment you feel like a winner. The moment you wake up early, that is the moment that you have so many hours ahead of you just to focus on your craft and to focus on your work. You see, the moment you wake up early, that's when you know that you've done something that others really can't do. You've proven to yourself that you can legitimately wake up at 5 a.m. when before you barely woke up at 12 p.m. <laughs> and the moment you wake up early, that is the moment that you will feel purposeful. Imagine you woke up at 5 a.m. You've gone to the gym. You've studied for exams. You've done these two things before anyone else even woke up. Imagine how much ahead of the curve you'll be. Imagine how much more effective and more productive you, you, you'll be. You want it to be productive, right? And waking up early is the start of being productive because you woke up early on a purpose. You woke up early to get your work done. You know, as the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said in a hadith that there is so much barakah in the morning. In the morning, in the early hours. And we have to take advantage of that. The next habit is following a specific daily routine. You see, if you don't know what you're doing in the day, your day is going to be random. Like you're not going to really do anything productive because you don't know what to do. It's like having a GPS destination, but then you don't know what the routes are. It's like maybe you want to go to New York City, but you don't know how to get there. And that's the exact same thing. When you know what to do in the day, you will do what is needed to do in a day, right? A lot of people, they want flexibility. A lot of people are like, oh, I want to choose when I, when I work and I want to do this and I want to have this flexibility. But you have to realize you're setting yourself for failure because when you have a daily routine, your consistency and your progress will be so much higher than the person who has flexible hours. Now, why is that? Because consistency is the way to success. We all know this, right? If, it's, if we're not consistent, we're not going to achieve our goals. Now, you have to realize that the only way to be truly consistent is to follow a strict routine where you really have no choice 
but to do the thing. Like for example, right now, I really, I really didn't feel like recording today, but I have to record either way, right? And this I know will pay off on my YouTube channel. It'll pay off to my growth and my success. You have to realize that when we have flexible hours, that's when we fail. That's when sometimes we do the habit, but sometimes we don't do the habit. But when we have a routine telling us that we have to do this no matter what, like it's, it's Salat time, right? It's 1 p.m. It's Dhuhr time. Like I have to pray Dhuhr right now. So I'm going to pause the video after this and pray Dhuhr. When you give yourself flexible hours, there's some days where you're, you're going to tell yourself, you know what, I'm not going to go to the gym today or I'm not going to do this because I have something else. Having a routine means prioritizing your purpose. Having a routine means prioritizing your growth. When you have a routine, you're going to put off other random useless things because you have to do your routine. When you have flexible hours, you're probably going to be doing things like watching TV and doing this and doing that before you even start your work. But that is how you feel. Okay, let's say you do study. Let's say you have flexible hours but you and you end up studying late at night. Do you think you're really going to focus on studying? Do you really think you're going to have a good study session? Probably not. Why? Because, you know, your entire day has been messed up because you were doing so many random TV shows and going out with friends and all of this. And so when you have a routine, that's when you prioritize Allah and that's when you prioritize your purpose. Because right now I could be hanging around with my friends, but no, I'm going to be doing the work. And then if I'm done the work, then I'll give myself time time to hang around with friends. You understand? You know, when I didn't have a routine, my day was completely bland. My day was just me doing random things. Even if I wanted to study, I would give up. Even when I wanted to do random stuff, I would find something else to do. When you don't have a routine, that's when you have a destination without a route, without a des- uh, without you know the way to get there. And that's going to really ruin your day because your day is going to be sporadic. Your day is going to be all over the place. And you know, that's not where growth happens. Growth happens is when you're consistently going, doing the same things over and over again, no matter how or, or what you feel like. And that is the key. If you want true consistency, it's all about a routine. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look at the hikmah, look at the wisdom of Allah. Allah already showed us this, you know, in Islam. In Islam, we have a routine. Pray salah at this time, you know, five times a day, at this time, at this time. There's a routine for a reason. And then, like, we could just pray salah at any time we want. But no, we pray salah at specific times to make sure that we're on purpose. We're on our goal. If salah was all over the place, that wouldn't make any sense. Then we would just neglect salah because we're doing something else instead. But when it's at that time, a true moment would understand that I have to go pray. You see, the next habit is praying salah on time. Allah says in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I did not create human or the jinn except to worship me. Allah says this in the Quran, which tells us and gives us our primary purpose. You know, a lot of us are stuck here lo- looking for a purpose. A lot of us are like, what do I do? What's my purpose on this earth? You know, is it to make money? Is it to please my parents? Is it... Our purpose is to worship and please Allah. It's to worship Allah primarily, essentially. That is our only purpose in this dunya. And here's the thing. Me and you right now are working towards a lot of things. We might, we might have a lot of goals in our lives. Now let me ask you a question, okay? If we can't fulfill our main purpose of worshiping Allah, let's say we're one of those Muslims that are chasing the dunya instead of the akhirah. And we don't pray a lot, you know, we, we're like half Muslim. You know what I mean? You know, a lot of people like that. May Allah guide all of us. Is us working on the business or is us chasing the dunya going to help us in the akhirah? Because what most people forget is the fact that we will go one day. We will e- exit this world one day. We're not going to be here forever. And the fact that everyone knows that tomorrow's not promised, does anyone really take it in? And that is the question to you. Because let's say we don't fulfill our purpose, which is to pray salah, which which is our primary purpose in this dunya. And we do other things like starting a business, chasing money. We do all of these things. You know, the dunya pleasures. Like, for example, getting a good marketing grade. Like, you know those, this this side tangent, but you know those Muslims, and I don't want to, again, expose their sins or anything, but you know those Muslims that like, don't fast because there's an exam like during Ramadan like they they skip fasting so they can study for the exam 
What if they died that next day? Are they saved? What are they gonna say to Allah? Oh Allah, sorry, I was studying for my exam. <laughs> what are they gonna say if they go the next day? Right? And I know this video took a very slow turn, but this is my conversation to you is that this is our only, only purpose, which is to worship and please Allah. And so the reason why I emphasize praying on time is because of this. The reason why I said, you know, one of the habits that changed my life is to pray on time is because it lets, my, it lets me know my purpose. It lets me know and it reminds me why I'm here on this earth. Of course, you can say, of course, being a Muslim is more than just praying and stuff. I understand, you know, we have our responsibilities. We have to take care of our family. But our main purpose is, so we have to do the main purpose first to do the other purposes as well. Like, of course, as a Muslim, I have to be successful. I have to be strong. I have to be like the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu or strive to be like him. I have to learn about deen. I have, there's so many responsibilities a Muslim has. Being a Muslim, first of all, is being the ultimate package. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the ultimate package. You know, he had the strength. He had the courage. He had the, the haya. He had the leadership of like he was the most perfect person in terms of a perfect example for how we humans are supposed to live, right? I understand being a Muslim is more than just praying, but our main purpose is to worship Allah. So if we cannot do that, then the rest of the stuff that we do, like for example, getting a good mark on an exam does not matter. But if we focus on our purpose and worship Allah on time, because that is our only purpose, we get that done, then it makes sense to do the other things as well. It's like, for example, you studied for a test, Right? You studied for your test very, very hard all day. You put your all of your effort in. No procrastinating, no random BS. And then you go to the exam room and the teacher says, wait, you studied for the wrong exam. You studied for the wrong test. How is that going to make you? How is that going to make you feel? How is that going to affect your mental health? How are you going to feel at that moment? That's the exam, exact same thing. This world is an exam. This world is a test. And so yes, we have to prioritize and res take responsibility of our lives. We have to, you know, be as especially as men, me and you, you're, you're probably a man watching this. If you're a sister, you have different roles, it's okay. But we have different roles, right? We have, as a Muslim, again, it's to live in society and to benefit society in the best ways we can because we have the ultimate truth. But our main purpose, so we have to prioritize, prioritize that first. And once you prioritize and worship Allah, you will be a purposeful person. Right? The reason why our life is in shambles is because our purpose is not being followed. A person, especially a man, always follows his purpose. And so when our purpose is tied to Allah, this is a never-ending purpose. And it's always a fulfilling. It gets more and more fulfilling as time goes on. Once we start praying on time, this is when you can tell yourself and call yourself a purposeful, disciplined man. Because I am on my purpose of worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whenever Allah calls, boom. I put my pyramid down and I pray because that is my purpose. That is what you call a man on purpose. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are the three habits that truly changed my life. And one thing that you probably didn't realize is the fact that, you know, you'll want to realize that these habits are not just habits. These habits make up exactly who you are. Essentially, these habits make up your identity. You probably haven't realized it, but waking up early means that you are a disciplined individual. So once you can show yourself that you can wake up early, your disciplined identity goes up. You'll start to see yourself as a more disciplined person. And not to mention that when you mix that with a daily routine, that pretty much makes up who you are because that tells you that exactly what you'll be doing every single day. It pretty much dictates what habits you'll be continuing and it lets you know who you are because if you are a disciplined individual, you are more likely to be disciplined the entire day compared to a person who is not really disciplined, they do whatever they want. And then when you mix it with the fact that now you are on your purpose because now you add in the salah bit, which is our purpose. Our purpose is to praise salah and once you add that in, now you're just a disciplined individual, specifically a disciplined Muslim. You see, all of these habits not only are just habits, they dictate who you are. First, you have your purpose, which is to pray to Allah. 
Second, you have your daily routine, which you write down every single thing you'll be doing as a disciplined Muslim warrior, as a disciplined Muslim individual who will, who's not going to be wasting his life away, right? And number three is waking up early to start your day. This is the three musketeers, the three things that come together to create who you are. You see, this isn't just habits. It dictates who you are. Listen, as I've been pushing this message for the longest time, the entire purpose of this channel is to help Muslims and create a group of Muslims and a movement of Muslims to leave the life of mediocrity. We won't stand by the life of mediocrity. We're not going to be wasting our lives away, sitting down and sitting at home doing nothing except scrolling and destroying their life with bad habits. We're not going to be doing that. We're going to escape the life of mediocrity by being disciplined individuals, by working up every day, working on our purpose, working on our mission, by being fulfilled, being the best version of ourselves. Remember, Muslims are becoming weaker due to the social media, due to video games and all of these bad habits. They are making the Muslims weak, especially our generation. And as much as some people don't want to agree, they are. And we Muslims are becoming weak. The men are becoming like feminine and really just soft and fat and flabby. And we won't stand up to this. We're going to live lives as the best versions of ourselves. We're going to be jacked. We're going to be strong. And we're going to be mentally tough to be disciplined to achieve big things, inshallah. That is the message on the channel. So subscribe to join the movement and I'll see you soon. Assalamu alaikum.